Our next problem deals with division and scientific notation. Divide by first expressing each number in scientific notation. Write the answer in scientific notation. So we're going to start off by taking our numerator, which is 49,000, and writing it as 4.9 times 10 to the fourth power, as we've moved our decimal place, four places to the left. We're going to divide that by our denominator, where we pick up our significant digit of 7. We're going to write that as 7.0 multiplied times, and we're multiplying times a power of 10, where we're moving our decimal place to the right, and therefore we have to write this as a negative exponent power. 7 times a negative power would be a smaller number. We've moved this 1, 2, 3 places, so we have times 10 to the negative 3 power. Now we can separate this into two fractions. We can actually see that since we're doing multiplication, we can write this as 4.9 divided by 7, multiplied times 10 to the fourth, divided by 10 to the negative third. 4.9 divided by 7 is going to give us a 0 0.7. We're multiplying that times 10 to the fourth minus, we have the negative third power, that would be 7 tenths times 10, neg it's going to be 4 minus negative 3, which would be 4 plus 3, or 7. Now we want our final answer to be in scientific notation. Notice that right now we have a number being multiplied times a power of 10, but the number is not between 1 and 10. For that reason, we're going to have to really move this decimal place one place over in order to accomplish that. Now that's going to change the exponent power that we're going to be dealing with. If we move our decimal point over, we're going to have 7.0, which is what we need, but we're going to end up multiplying times a power of 10, where that power of 10 is going to have to be changed. Let's see how we're going to change that. We're going to think of this as 7 times. To move this over, that would be 7 times 10 to the negative 1 power. Then we still have that 10 to the 7th power that's being moved over here. So we're taking the first part and rewriting it. Now, properties of exponents, we add our exponent powers to give us our exponent of 6.